Hey everyone, I wanted to do a uh, quick overview of the new character customization feature in WoW Exports 0 0.1.59. Um, yeah, so if you boot up the new version, you'll notice the new character tab. Uh, if you click it, it'll load all the required files. And then it'll open on the Blood Elf by default because it's the first one in the list. Um, yeah, so you can select a race on the left pretty much as you'd expect it to work and then as soon as you've selected the race you can go to the options tab and you can run through the various options um, you'll note that some options have a star or an asterisk behind it um, and that means that they are using some feature that while export cannot uh, display or export uh, and in this case it's going to be the face that has some custom bones uh, based on which face you select and for example for mechanomes uh, it'll be uh, the leg upgrades that just don't do anything uh, the same goes for track fear Uh, they also have some options that don't work because you'll see that they have holes in the head where the horns would usually go and none of the horns uh, work yet. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail as to why that doesn't work. Just know that it's a very complex thing to fix. Uh, so we're not going to do that for this version yet. Uh, but we'll hopefully do it in the future. Uh, right, so on the right you'll notice that we have a character import uh, thingy. Uh, you can select your region, so in my case it's going to be EU, and your character, your realm. If you press import, it'll load it from the uh, WoW Web API. And that also goes for uh, Trackfear. And you can choose to load the physics module instead as well, uh, in case you wanted to look at that one. That also works for Worgen. So if I grab the Warden, the Worgen here, it'll load the Gilnane. And if you turn that off again, it'll load the Worgen. So that's pretty much how you'd expect it to work. Uh, this feature does not work on classic realms, it only works on retail realms. Um, but yeah, very useful feature. Uh, under there you can see the Geosets tab, uh, most of you are probably already used to this on the uh, other screen. You can just like select model parts. Uh, yeah, pretty much works how you expect it as well. Only use this after you've selected your options uh, because it'll toggle stuff you might not want toggled. So you can see that I turned this one off. Uh, and if I now touch the customizations, it'll behave badly. So only use this menu if you're done on the left. Otherwise, you'll get weird, weird issues. Um, below there, we have the export animations checkbox, which exports animations. If you've checked it, if you don't check it, it'll not export any animations. Uh, we have the base clothing checkbox, which pretty much does what it says as well. Uh, the texture overlay, which is uh, visible here, uh, it currently still breaks um, when you switch tabs, uh, but this this shows the texture as is uh, as it is baked basically. Uh, and then you can export the model, uh, you can import it to Blender or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's a very short overview of the feature. Um, if you go to our GitHub page and then go to our issues tab, uh, I have a pinned issue with all the known issues uh, as well as known feature requests. So before reporting anything, please check this page just uh, to save you some time and to save us some time as well. Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy the new feature. Uh, it took a lot of work, uh, but we're pretty glad that we got this done in like, what was it, like a month maybe? Uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, and hopefully we'll continue to iterate upon it uh, in the future as well.
because there's obviously some stuff we still want to support. Uh, primarily, of course, the uh, the options that are currently not supported because those are uh, uh, pretty important for some races to not have holes in them. And uh, other stuff is item equipping, uh, all that fancy stuff. That is hopefully something that will uh, do at one point as well. Yeah, that's it. Uh, enjoy the feature and uh, hopefully see you again in the future. Bye-bye.